Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we are Friday, May the 24th, 2019 and of course now we are at uh, a uh, third day of release for Windows 10 May 2019 update. Things seem to be rolling out well. Um, we kind of confirmed that, yep, there is a uh, still a problem with the uh, drives, USB thumb drives, external drives, and so on, with the uh, drive assignment when you try to update. So it's possible that some with multiple, you know, uh, drives, thumb drives, and SD card readers, and so on, might have some problems. But um, Microsoft said by the end of the month it should be fixed. So the end of the month is, you know, a week from now. I guess uh, next week it might be a an update that will fix this. Um, I wanted to talk about, because of course a lot of people have been asking me, well, you know, is it true that this won't install or force install on me uh, and, and I can leave it there? Yeah, up to a certain point. Like I said, when your version of Windows 10 comes soon to expire of the 18 months that it has of life, that's when it's going to start rolling to you and being pushed to you. And one such event is coming up, actually. I learned yesterday that um, if you're on the April 2018 update, so that's version 1803 of uh, a little more than a year ago, your version of Windows 10 is expiring in November of this year. It's going to have it's done its 18-month cycle. And what I learned is that starting this June, you guys are going to have the May 2019 update forced on you, pushed on you, because that is the latest version and because you're getting close to a expired or a Windows 10 version that won't have any uh, security updates of course it's you still got it to May uh, starting June some of you will start getting this pushed on you if you're on the April 2018 update so if you're there this is gonna arrive at some point and being forced on you because of the 18-month uh, cycle getting close um, you know they could have waited probably until you know August or something but uh, they decided that June is when it's gonna start slowly rolling out to you guys and uh, kind of being pushed on you if you're on the October 2018 update there's no problem you'll be waiting and this is gonna be still uh, you know waiting there and it won't be pushed on you until um, you know uh, late this year or early next year and it's probably not going to be this version but uh, the 19H2 version that's going to be pushed on you. So that's something you need to know if you're on the April 2018 update. Starting in June some of you are going to start seeing this pushed on you and uh, that's the way Microsoft is going to work and, and that's because that version is going to expire in November. So that's I think important news for some of you to actually understand. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.